need three brushes to float. And the first brush is your large uh, clean brush that will always be in clean water. Then you need your mop brush, which I've shown a picture of. And you'll need your angle brush to float. What you want to do is you want to take your clean water brush and uh, wet the surface where you're going to float it. Pick up your angle brush and put the tip right into the paint. And then you want to work it out a little bit on some freezer paper or a paper palette, something to just blend it onto your, your brush. When it's blended, go ahead and put it on your surface where you wet it, where you want to float it, and push down all the bristles, the point being towards the edge of whatever you're shading and pull down until you get a nice um, float. And then pick up your mop brush and go ahead and just pat the edges of the float so that it softens out and spreads out nice and even. To clean your mop brush, which you want to do after you've um, shaded something, you know, and you've patted it, you've used it, you've got some paint on it, you've got some water, just stand it up uh, like the picture shows, straight up and down and wipe it back and forth on a wet spot on a, a paper towel. The, the spot should be clean, otherwise you're going to pick up more paint on it. These brushes, they're Maxine Thomas brushes, and they sell them at Michael's, never go into your water. You know, like your regular brushes, when you're done using them, you put them into the water uh, tub. You don't do that. You just lay these down. The only time they go into water is when you're going to wash them. You take them to the sink, and you can um, add your uh, brush soap or I use ivory soap in the bar and I just uh, take the tips and go back and forth on it, run it under water till all the paint is out. That's how you keep these brushes clean, but it will take probably till the next day for them to dry. So you want to keep that in mind that, um, you know, when you clean this, run it under the water, that you're not going to be able to use it again till the next day. They really don't need to be cleaned after every time you paint. Uh, sometimes three or four days later I'll, I'll brush, you know, I'll clean mine out. So you can use them quite a bit. It's what the thing is, you want them to dry. You know, if you get them in too much water, then if they're wet and you try to mop with them, it's not going to work very well. I have about 15 mop brushes because I'm constantly changing colors and I don't want the color that was on the mop brush to get into the color that I'm mopping, the new color. So it's always good to have two or three of those brushes on hand because you know when you, when you clean them, it's going to take a while for them to dry if you put them under the faucet at the sink. And you will need to do that once a week or so, depending on how much you paint.